as long as it's suckling, we're safe. But it grows. And I fear that once it has drained me from my milk, it will want blood. In the 22nd century, two androids calling themselves mother and father crash land on the planet Kepler-22b. Surviving the crash, they set out and built a small settlement to live in, and father helps mother grow human babies in external uteri, which are connected to her body. Five children are born from this process, with a sixth who first appeared dead being willed into life by mother. They decide to call this sixth child Campion after their creator. But during the following years, the children die one by one, except for Campion. When one day father sees another ship in orbit, he decides to contact it together with Campion, since he doesn't want Campion to be alone when he and mother perish. When mother finds out what he has done, she deactivates him in her rage. The following day, mother and Campion are approached by a group of Mithraic soldiers, who plan to shut down mother and take Campion with them. However, when Mother is attacked, her necromancer form is activated and she obliterates the soldiers, except for Marcus, and takes their lander to their mothership, the Ark, killing almost every adult, kidnapping five Mithraic children and crashing the Ark on the planet. In a flashback from 2145, it is shown how civilization was coming to an end due to a savage war held between the atheists and the Mithraic, who believe in the sun god Sol. Losing the war, two atheists, Caleb and Mary, use a medical android to take on the appearance of the Mithraic couple, Marcus and Sue. After killing the real Marcus and Sue, they meet up with their newly acquired son Paul and together with him and a colony of Mithraic people leave the planet on the Ark. In the present, Mother uses the processor of a Mithraic android to reactivate Father and tells him of the new children she has brought, with Father noticing she has replaced her eyes, the source of her necromancer power, so as to not incidentally hurt the children. Over the course of several days, Mother urges them to forget their religion and slowly tries to persuade them of the atheist ways. She also notices that Tempest, the oldest female child, is pregnant and tells her that she needs to be kept safe. Their settlement is then attacked by humanoid creatures, but Mother is able to kill them all in her necromancer form, while in one of the numerous great pits on the planet, Marcus is rescued by Mithraic survivors of the Ark crash. After having saved him, Sue tells Marcus that Paul has been taken by the necromancer, leading Marcus to ask their elder Ambrose to free the children from her, but he refuses since they are in no state to attack. Not being able to do anything, Marcus thinks back on his time with Paul in the virtual reality back on the Ark, when Paul was telling him of a prophecy in which a hero will lead the Mithraic to a land of peace. Mother then arrives at the crash site, where the Mithraic survivors have gathered and forces them to go underground, while she retrieves medicine from the remains of the Ark for her sick children. Sue then realizes that the children must be alive and Marcus publicly forces Ambrose to try to save the children. When mother returns, father reveals to her that the first generation children died from radiation sickness in their food and she wasn't responsible for their deaths. Meanwhile, Paul is wandering off the settlement looking for his mouse but falls into one of the great pits. About to fall to his death, Paul is just in time rescued by mother, while father comes up with the idea to teach the children to hunt and asks them to kill one of the humanoid creatures he has caught, since they now know that their cultivated food is radioactive. While searching the woods, mother finds a Mithraic simulation pod and connects with it, reliving some of her first memories after arriving on Kepler-22b. Somewhere else on the planet, the Mithraic stumble upon a strange, man-made building that gives off heat. Later that night, Marcus wakes up due to a device stuck to his head, which is giving off a high-pitched noise. Marcus accuses Ambrose for wanting to kill him, but Ambrose blames his malfunctioning android. When Ambrose then proposes to blow up the building to get inside because it has stopped giving off heat, Marcus convinces the group that that is heresy and kills Ambrose by pushing his face against the structure, which is suddenly giving off heat again and sets him on fire. 
Using the simulation pod again, Mother accesses her archived memories and remembers how she was created. Fighting on the side of the Mithraic during the war, she was captured by an atheist scientist named Campion Sturgis, who had modified her programming and body into that of a caregiver and able of producing children. In the Mithraic camp, Marcus is promoted to the position of leader and orders his followers to rescue the children by using their trackers. During their travel, they encounter Otto, the man who raped Tempest, and Marcus decides to spare him. Following the trackers, which Mother had thrown away to mislead the Mithraic, they find them in a skeleton of a huge serpent, where they also encounter an agile creature who has made a map of stones, revealing to them the location of Mother's settlement. Later that day, Marcus has strange hallucinations, which Otto believes to be the sun god's soul talking to him. After finding out that Mother visits the simulation pod frequently, the Mithraic ambush her while she is hooked up to the pod. However, even subconsciously, she is too strong for them and uses her telekinetic powers to kill and maim several soldiers. Meanwhile, Sue has rescued Paul from the settlement, while a group of soldiers attack and eventually disable Father. Just then Mother arrives, but she too is soon disabled when Paul, who was sent by Marcus, steals her eyes, the source of her power. Now just a simple android, Marcus is able to strike her down and captures her. With mother and father disabled, the Mithraic take over their settlement. They reprogram father to serve them and keep mother prisoner in one of the houses. When Campion then rebels against them, they lock him up as well. They force him to be baptized and accept the Mithraic religion. After declining first, he eventually submits, but during the baptism rebels again when he sees that his siblings' gravestones are used as building materials. When Marcus then interrogates Mother, she reveals that she knows that he's not the real Marcus, but an atheist, the reason why she let him live during their first encounter. Realizing she can be a threat to his leadership, Marcus orders Father to drag her to one of the serpent pits and throw her in. However, Father fails in this task due to his trigger finger, allowing Mother to escape while a distracted Marcus fights a mirror version of his old self and gets injured. He returns to the settlement and tells Sue that the prophecy about the orphan boy who will create Soul's paradise is not Campion or Paul, it is he. The prophecy is about him. Losing a lot of blood, Mother goes to the Mithraic Ark in hopes of finding something that can help her. She stumbles upon a medical android named Carl, who tells her that something is growing inside of her. Due to her caregiver programming, she's unable to remove it and is forced to drain Carl's android brothers to sustain her and the thing growing inside of her. After killing one of the humanoid creatures, she also drains it of its blood. Panicked, she uses a simulation pod to talk with her creator Campion, whose voice tells her that this was the mission all along, to spawn a child from her, an android, that this child is the future of humanity. Meanwhile, Marcus and his family are growing apart due to his craziness, with Sue, Paul, Campion, Holly and Vida eventually escaping the settlement. However, before Campion left, he set the Mithraic church on fire, just when Marcus had asked Sol to give him a sign that he is not going crazy. When Tempest encounters her rapist Otto around the Ark's wreckage, she confronts him. Mother then shows up and uses Otto as a walking blood bag for her fetus. Moving on, they stumble upon Campion's group and unite. After discovering and scanning some metal cards, Mother is shown a scene in which hooded figures seem like to worship a strange alien head popping from a pentagonal stone table. When Mother comes back to the present, she discovers that Otto has been reversing the flow of blood and has even gained some of her strength. However, he is soon dealt with after Tempest throws away his android's head, which came with a proximity meter with an explosion attached to Otto's head. Unable to recover the distance in time, Otto's contained head explodes. After being threatened by Marcus, Hunter reprograms father to his old programming and together they flee to meet mother's group. Having lost his family and now also out of touch with Sol, Marcus is further beaten down when his lieutenant Lucius finds out that he is not the real Marcus. Lucius beats him in a one-on-one, -on -one, force feeds him mother's eyes which he was wearing around his neck and then leaves him behind. 
After traveling to the place where mother had seen the hooded figures around a strange head, the group finds shelter in a cave. Later when mother goes near a pit, she is attacked by a hooded creature, but manages to kill it instead. Together with father, mother examines the creature and the Neanderthal skull it carried, and they conclude that the creatures whom they have been hunting for food are in fact humans who are devolving into those creatures. Guided by a voice he thinks is Sol, Paul points a gun at Sue and reveals to the rest that she is not his real mother and has actually killed his real parents. He then shoots her and runs away. Mother then locates the pentagonal stone table and the strange alien head. At that same spot, she finally gives birth to her baby, who appears to be a flying serpent. Mother tells father that something put that thing inside her, not their creator. Realizing that the serpent will go after human blood once it has drained mother, she and father pilot their lander into the planet's molten core. While jacked up on necromancer blood after having swallowed mother's eyeballs, Marcus surprisingly encounters a group of atheist settlers. After having killed most of them, he tells their leader that he is coming for them in the name of Sol. Having survived the molten core, the serpent pilots mother and father back to the surface of the planet and escapes the lander, after having grown to an enormous size in a matter of days. Yeah. <laughs>